Oh my gosh, did you know that NASA discovered a day in history where the sun didn't even set? And that correlates to when Joshua prayed to God for him to stand the moon and the sun still so Israel could fight his enemies. You don't really believe God exists, do you? Yeah, of course I believe God exists. What do you mean? Evolution has already confirmed that man came from monkeys. Have you ever even seen God before? No, but have you ever seen a monkey turn into a human being before? No, but case closed. Hey everyone, it's Monique for Nude. Welcome back for another video. So this week's video is going to be about why as believers we believe in God's existence. Um, now, if you haven't seen last week's video, it was about why we believe um, Jesus is God in the flesh. So if you haven't seen that, I'll link it up here. So um, this video is in no way to discred discredit science or the advancements science has made, um, which is very significant to society. Um, but the only reason why I mention this is because uh, when many atheists or agnostics wants, want to prove that God does not exist, they normally turn to the theory of evolution. So, I'm going to be referring to um, the post I made about this. Um, so if you want like a text version of this video, I will link my blog down below in the um, description box. It's called bigsisterinchrist.com and I will leave a direct link to this post. So I'll be occasionally looking over here as a reference. Um, so the theory of evolution states, um, I'm sure many of us are familiar with this, they teach this in school, is that all species are related and they gradually change over time. So with natural selection, um, they state that humans, um, their origin are from apes or monkeys or chimpanzees um, because we have such um, genetic similarities to these species. So therefore, humans um, gradually changed over time to adapt to in their environment and we originally came from apes. So, um, interesting enough, I, I saw where a very early Greek evolutionist named Anna, I will leave the name right here because I'm going to butcher it. And next, the Mander of Miletus. Okay. He is a very early evolutionist, as I stated. He believed that man originated from fish because man must have originated from some independent species that could live on their own as soon as they're born. So this superior species somehow evolved into humans and he said that that species came from fish so man came from fish and then you know it developed into man came from monkeys so this Greek evolution theorist also believed which I find kind of funny that the universe is held together and is created by someone I'm sorry he's something infinite and not from a material element or a physical element he concluded that eternal and infinite motion is the cause for our infinite world and how it came to being and that the world is not eternal but will be destroyed back into the greek word is empyreon where the new world is created now if you read the Bible, you should be familiar with this because this is in Reve in the book of Revelations, how the world, how the new world will be created and that the old world will be destroyed. So I find it kind of funny that this um, person who believed or um, sort of had this idea of evolution for the origin of human beings also believed that the world was made by something or someone infinite. But anyways... So whether you believe you descended from a fish or a monkey, something that's quite undisputable is that human beings are a unique species. Um, given that, you know, you think that, you know, humans descended from monkeys and 
stuff like that there are some pretty significant differences between humans and other species and or other animals um the things that we do have in common we have with animals we have a physical body like animals we have um thoughts or a mind rather sorry we have a, a, a mind emotions and we exhibit behavior i would say that's about it but the thing that separates man from other species is the human conscience if you don't know what a conscience is i will read you a definition it's described as the innate innate means something that comes naturally um or instinct ability of a human being to be aware of wrongdoing or being sensitive to the moral goodness of one's behavior so in other words standards ethics um the concept of morality evil good right wrong we know the differences between these things and we know the differences of this you can see this very young um scientists have even said that even babies know the difference between right and wrong without having to be told. Um, you can see this in kids. My my son knows when he's doing something right or wrong, whether I have to tell him or not. You know, if we were all one of the same, you know, um, I should be seeing animals being able to train humans, not the other way around. Why aren't animals constructing buildings from blueprints? Um, why aren't animals, you know, doing the same thing as us? If we evolve from them, why aren't we seeing, I'm not seeing an ape evolving into a human being right now. Why? I don't, but anyways, um, one thing that really differentiates between other species and human beings is guilt. Okay. Guilt is that impression that you have. You can't see guilt, right? It's eternal. So when you do something wrong and you know you've done something wrong, you feel guilty and you start to use your mind to process various thoughts of reasoning and your emotions to process this guilt. Um, it can either drive you to admit your guilt or to hide because of shame. We see this all the time. Murderers, they either confess their guilt or they keep doing what they do. And you know that same um, murders, like serial murders often don't have, have a dead conscience. And it's because when you violate your conscience so many times, you become desensitized to what's right and wrong. You, you just don't care anymore. And animals do not struggle eternally with guilt like humans do. But human beings, you know, they're gonna feel guilty when they violated their conscience. And now, well, some might say, well, some people um, do wrong things and it's not wrong to them. Well, there may be cultural and societal differences. Like in some parts of the world, I think, I believe it's India. They believe, um, I think it's wrong to kill a cow. I may be wrong. Um, and other places don't believe that. So... What I'm saying is the basic understanding of right and wrong and evil and good is innate in humanity. And that, where does that come from? That comes from the existence of God because he defines what's good and what's evil. So everyone should have a basic understanding that stealing is wrong, killing another human being is wrong, ch cheating is wrong, lying is wrong. Those differences, like I said, may be, come between cultural or societal differences and animals they're not expected to live by moral constructs like humans are when we see evil being done it's it's prohibited it's punishable not between animals so how can i derive from an ape when an ape doesn't have that basic understanding so among many things in this world like think of the intricacies of this world that we live in like it, it blows my mind sometimes like if you think of the vastness of the universe all the all the millions of galaxies and how everything on earth is like perfectly designed to be inhibited by humans how everything is just made like our hands 
how we're able to give birth, our bodily systems, how it just works perfectly as long as we take care of it. And I know it's diseases and stuff like that, but um, besides that, and then the air that we breathe and just gra- the law of gravity. And it's like, but people would rather believe other things for the origin of this earth rather than, or this universe, rather than believing that someone actually created all this stuff on purpose and how it just works perfectly all together. And I don't know, but that is all for this video. Um, basically summing up that the existence of God, one of the main things um, we believe is that is because of the human conscience. And I will leave you with a scripture, Romans 2, 15, and it says, They demonstrate that God's law is written in their hearts for their own conscience and thoughts. Either accuse them or tell them they are doing right. That is all. So, I will see you guys next time. Ciao. <laughs>